What up, Roundup Gang? Today I'm going to do a very short demonstration, more so instructional because I've already done it. But I'm going to talk about how you can put a voice box from either Divine Child or straight from Alibaba into a Metacom Woody. And, the, and, and let me tell you, it does fit. But gee, it's very tight. It's very... It's very tough to get in there, but you can make it work. I've done it, and let's take a look at how that is done. And before we do, shout out to Seif Adam Sorio, 8431, for giving me this idea. It's not going to be a demonstration, but at least it's the instructions. So if you want to do it at home, it can be done. And if you do it, let me know how it turns out. Let's jump into it. This should help anyone who might be looking to do this themselves. So, of course, you will need a voice box. This is the one I prefer to use, which I think everyone prefers pretty easily. You're my favorite deputy. So I definitely can see why this is appealing. You can get this from Divine Child. Me personally, I got it from Alibaba because it's cheaper, but you can get this from a few different places. Um, and this is what you'll need. Now, <clears throat> does this fit into Metacom Woody? Well, the answer is yes, but let me tell you what you're going to need to expect on this one because it is not easy whatsoever. <clears throat> so over here, this Woody does have that voice box. And you can see his body shape looks really good. Really, really good body shape, in fact. He's in there, and here is a demonstration. Somebody's poisoned the water hole! I'd like to join your party, boys, but first I'm gonna sing a little song. So it works. It works. It definitely does. Now, what you're going to need to do in order to get this voice box into a Metacom Woody, which for right now, the Metacom Woody we're going to talk about is this one right here. One thing is going to need to be done. Biggest thing, you cannot use the stock head. And I'll tell you why. When you take off Metacom's head, what's really holding his neck in place is this metal rod here. And it's very nice, it's very sturdy. But once you put this voice box inside, there is not room in here for anything else really, much less this and everything else that goes with it to he put his head on here. So the reason I did soft and huggable on the one over here is because it's glued right on top. Basically, the voice box I believe is this orientation. Ooh, I don't even remember something like this and his head's glued basically right here and it's just sticking out on the top his head does not spin around it's fixed that's the sacrifice you're gonna have to make if you do want this voice box in Metacom Woody so you will not be able to use this head so you will need a soft and huggable or maybe even the seed toys head I would actually recommend that quite a bit I'll be putting a seed toys head on a Metacom Woody, but look at that. This right here would be perfect. Put the voice box in, glue the head on, and this is essentially what it's going to look like inside of Metacom Woody. You know, voice box in here, head on top. Anyway, now, when you t remove all of this, you're absolutely going to have to pull apart his collar right here. It's glued together already, so it's actually pretty easy. And then there's one little stitch. Pull it apart, and this whole middle piece here, because he's sewed down the middle, is going to just fray open. Very easy. It's not going to damage any of the material. Then from there, this hole will be large enough. You're going to want to take out all the stuffing. And then you can place this bad boy right in there. Now, trust me when I say there will be no room for much else. So, once you put this in to Metacom Woody, what you're going to want to do is put very light but carefully placed stuffing around it. Because you don't want his body to literally be shaped like this brick. But you also 
don't want to stuff him to where he looks a little deformed because the stuffing is going to shape what his torso looks like. So you put it in, put a little light stuffing around it, a little here, a little there, in the front, in the back, just to make sure he has the shape that you want. Once you have that, of course, you're going to have to feed it through the hole just as you would any type of even think way voice box swap. Nothing special there. And you're going to want to sew them up and, you know, close it, glue the head on, uh, and, and you're basically done. Now, let me, let me warn you about something. Unfortunately, this voice box does not have a rechargeable option. And there's so little room in here once the voice box is inside of Medicom Woody that, to be honest, once the batteries are dead, you're either just going to have to live with a dead voice box or do a lot of undoing to get it out and put the batteries back in. Now, here's what I did, and I would recommend doing this. You won't be able to see it because it's all under the vest. But under this vest, you can almost see the little hump that it created. I stitched, I didn't stitch it all the way back up like I normally would any Medicom Woody. What's actually going on in here is I sewed a piece of Velcro on each side and I Velcroed it together and then I did one little loop here, one little loop here to bring it together so it's not a too much pressure pulling that Velcro apart. So theoretically, I did make it as easy as possible to get back in there, but still it's going to take some work and I'm not sure if I want to do that work. but. When that day comes, we'll see. Now, Velcro, stitch, stitch. At the top, uh, it's glued on, you know, nothing fancy. And, uh, you know, and, and, it, and it works. The other thing I would recommend too, so I almost forgot to mention this. His head is not only glued on, it's actually also fastened by a zip tie. Now, I won't be able to show it, but there's a zip tie here that actually punctures through the collar wraps around this front piece of his neck so it's wrapped around and fastened in there now if you just did the zip tie the problem is the head just swings off off and on it looks really creepy i kind of wish i had a video of me doing that very creepy looking so the glue is really just to secure the front and the zip tie essentially secures the back but i will tell you this if you can make it work look at how good this woody looks his shape, it's freaking beautiful. That is the shape of Woody right there. Perfect cylinder, skinny. His head and his body are almost the same size. You get that perfectly here. The voice box pushes forward uh, the front and back. And it, it, it looks great. If you put the stuffing in there right, it keeps a beautiful shape. And now that I think about it, actually, I think the voice box is, is in here like this. Yeah, it is. So it's kind of, this is how the voice box is actually in there for me. Now, if you can make it fit another way, by all means, but if you put it this way, as you can see, the rings right there in the back lines up easily, and you just pull it, no problem. So that is the instructions on how to make this the perfect Woody doll. And I truly think Medicom is an amazing base, especially if you can get yourself a Gen 1 like this bad boy. And if you can do the modifications, it uh, it's pretty cool. Let's check them out. Do a little demonstration here. All right, well, that's going to do it for this quick little video. Again, uh, Adam, thank you so much for this idea. Maybe one day I'll actually do a demonstration video. Right now, we're just going to keep it instructional. Let me know if this helped you, my friend, and if this helped anyone else. Like the video, subscribe. We are almost, we are halfway to the 3,000 mark. So that giveaway is going to be starting sooner than later. Appreciate all of you. Remember, a collector never stops collecting. And we'll see you on the next video.